Hello, my name is Kara Rice. I am the creator and founder of Brain Connects Therapy. It is a program, a company that helps parents teach parents and train them through online courses on how to help their kiddos with learning, with reading, with motor disabilities or motor issues, with diagnoses such as autism and ADHD through primitive reflex integration and brain hemispheric integration and many more. So today I wanted to touch on a couple things. So the sensory diet, are you going to be on it forever? <laughs> so I wanted to talk about that and why we don't use a sensory diet at Brain Connects Therapy and why we believe it's better to treat the child to help that cause of the hypersensitivities and hyposensitivities so that they won't need those compensatory strategies anymore. So here's what sensory diets. I'm an occupational therapist of over 15 years, so I have a lot of experience in all these areas. I'm also a mother to a son with autism. So I have been to multiple therapists myself with my son. So here's what the typical therapist wants you to do or school is give your child a sensory diet. This diet consists of things that will help input the, the system in the body or decrease the sensitivities or the sensory stimulation so that the child is regulated. So what does that mean? It's those things like um, headphones when your child is sensitive to loud noise. So that will help decrease that stimulation. They won't become agitated because it's annoying to them. And they can be, you know, at this level playing field where they can learn and be happy. Um, or it's a kiddo that needs a weighted vest or compression vest because they don't have good body awareness. They bump into things. They are fidgety. They can't sit still. Um, they have low muscle tone. They want to do lots of heavy work. So the teachers will have them carry books or push this cart that has the lunch boxes, et cetera, et cetera. Um, these are all, so that consists of like a sensory diet. So you would do that during school. You do it at home. You have the kid jump on a trampoline. If they move a lot, if they need more vestibular input, what that is, is compensatory strategies as we call it in therapy. And what that means is it's compensating for the issue. So it's compensating for that hypersensitivity or hyposensitivity to sensory stimulation. So it's just basically a band-aid. It's covering it up. It's stopping it from happening, but you have to do it over and 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 over again. It's never treating the actual reason the child is having issues. It's just inputting with information that's going to help them over time. So even sensory integration treatment, if you've looked at the research, shows you need to be doing it three to five times a week to be getting benefits. So not, not many people are going to therapy three to five times a week, basically because insurance does not pay for that. So that's where we come in. That's where we um, have seen a difference is that we help kids with the cause, the cause of sensitivities and sensory issues, whether your child just has a sensory processing disorder, maybe they're just hypersensitive to noises and such, or hypersensitive to tactile information. We've seen those kiddos that have no other issues, but they have that sensitivity. Um, autistic kids typically will have a sensory issue. ADHD kids do, like many diagnoses do as well as kids that don't have one. So what we look at is the brain. Why is this happening, right? The child is fine. Um, you know, when the doctor looks at the body, it looks okay. The brain looks fine. If it was shown on an MRI, there's no injury to the brain, but something is not working right. So what we have seen is that the brain is not developed fully. So that that brainstem area, that survival brain, the very first part of our brain that develops is not developed fully. And then the cerebellum is not developed fully. And when those areas aren't developed fully, as the rest of the brain lays down and the neural pathways lay down, you're going to have some holes and some gaps. Things aren't going to be super efficient and you're going to have some issues. So the child may learn a lot of other things and be able to read and write, but they have these sensory issues that are causing problems for them to stay focused, to keep attention, um, and other, other things in different if they're younger and they're not reading yet. But so what we do is help that brain development. 
So we go back, we go back in time to that infancy stage where primitive reflexes are the very first movement the child does. It's an automatic movement in response to a sensory stimulation, whether that's a movement of the head or a sound, um, and they're made for survival so that the baby survives. It's also made, uh, these movements are performed in repetition over and over and over until they become integrated, and it moves on to a postural reflex, which helps us become upright. So that's a, a cool thing that humans have. Um, so if we don't have those reflexes completely integrated after infancy, then we're going to have little holes and little issues as a child continues to grow. The child's going to have poor balance. Their sensory system is not going to be integrated all the way. So vestibular issues, tactile issues with touch, auditory issues, taste issues, picky eaters, um, sound or smell as well. Um, so what we want to do is look back at that. We want to bring that child back to that time and perform those same movements they would have done as an infant. They're easy to do exercises. Um, they're not going to hurt the child. You can do them as an adult. And you might ask, why, why is this happening? Like, why aren't children going through that stage enough? And there's many reasons. A lot of them, I mean, there's not the research that shows exactly what it is, cause and effect. But a lot of things is the baby's not being on their stomach enough, which nowadays with SIDS, babies sleep on their back. Then they're in containers all the time. So that causes issues. They're just not moving around and having to fight against gravity. So then their milestones are delayed. And the top researchers in neurological therapy and developmental therapy show that when the milestones are not reached, even one or two months um, late, it has an effect, a long-term effect to that child, so in the child's brain. So what we do in our program, one of our courses, Primitive Reflex Integration 101, which is available now, is we teach you, the parent or caregiver, how exactly to go through this um, sequence of exercises so that you can start working with your child. It's about eight different exercises you do on a daily basis. It takes about 15 minutes once you get it down. You do it once or, twi or twice to three times a day, and you will start noticing changes in their development and their growth and decreases in those sensitivities to sound and touch and feel and no, no need to run around and fidget anymore. They can actually sit still and concentrate. Um, and it's pretty amazing. And you can kind of take back control because you're the parent. You can be empowered to learn this stuff on your own and show that you are actually helping your child. It doesn't replace regular therapy. I still recommend going to OT and PT if you need those things or speech. Uh, but I love that you can do this at home. No need to rush to a therapist every single day of the week. You can do it quickly within 15 minutes once you get used to it. And you actually are making changes in the brain to help the connections and to change this forever. So your child does not have to wear headphones for the rest of their life. So your child does not have to wear compression clothes for the rest of their life. So your child does not have to do all these compensatory strategies for the rest of their life, right? That's what we want, right? We want real change. So that's what we can give you. Um, comment below any questions. I will post our website course information below this video. I hope you enjoyed it and have a beautiful day. Thanks.